So you're working with a manufacturer in China, Vietnam, Turkey, or somewhere else, and you want to avoid quality disasters. So you decide to inspect your products at the factory before they ship. Now, it's unrealistic to inspect every single unit that comes off the production line. So you decide to use AQL sampling. And so you're looking at the AQL chart and you see in the top right corner, it says general inspection levels, one, two, and three. And so what are they? Well, let's ask Andy Church. So Andy, could you tell us what are the general inspection levels and why are there three of them? And how do we know which one to choose? Excellent question, Billy. So in a sampling inspection, not, as you mentioned, not every piece is inspected. So we need to determine in conjunction with the client, what level is used based on their quality expectations. So general level one is the most cost efficient, effective one, because it's a lower number of pieces that would be inspected. Level two is the norm. That's generally what's used across the general consumer merchandise industry. And general level three is more stringent, meaning more pieces are inspected. So the client, based on their quality expectations, and we will provide our suggestions and advice, will determine what level to use to meet their needs. So with that in mind, you know, you've said that general two is the most common that uh, that we would use. And I'd like to run through a little example of how we would use the general inspection levels to determine the sample size for your inspection. So let's say that we have ordered 1300 USB hubs, just like this one, from a manufacturer in Shenzhen, China which just happens to be where our Insight China office is located. So again, we're using general two. That's what we'll use in this example. And let's go through the AQL chart to see how many units we're going to inspect. So we're looking here at table one of the chart and we can see that since we have ordered 1300 units, we are gonna choose a lot or batch size of 1201 to 3200 on the left-hand column. And then we're going to choose general two in the top right. And then we just look to see the point where the row and column intersect, and that gives us the code letter K. So with that in mind, we'll go to table two, and we can see that on the left-hand side, K gives us a sample size of 125 units. So that's how many uh, USB hubs the inspector is going to pull out of your cartons to check. Now, if we had chosen general one, then that would give us a code letter of H and thus a sample size of only 50 units. Whereas if we had chosen general three, then that would give us a code letter of L and that gives us a sample size of 200 USB hubs. So you can see how choosing a different AQL uh, general AQL level is going to impact the size of your inspection sample. So with that in mind, Andy, could you tell us about the special inspection levels? Because I'm looking at the chart here and I see to the left of the general levels are the special levels. So what exactly are the special levels and how do those come into play? Another good question, Billy. So in your example, using the USB hub, it is not realistic that one inspector in a given day at the factory could do 
uh, function testing on all 125 pieces using the example of the quantities you provided, such as charging an item. I think there was three uh, hubs on your or three ports on yours. So function testing would be testing if charging an item, making sure that all three hub, all three ports work on that item. So by incorporating the special inspection levels into the inspection, we can still maintain a statistically valid result and te test and result by testing a certain number of pieces. And in this case, uh, you can walk us through what the example would look like. Looking back at the AQL chart here, we can see uh, S1 through S4. And typically for uh, you know, this type of test that you mentioned, we would use something like S2. So if we used S2 as our special level for the test, it would give us the, the code letter D, right? And so that means it would give us a sample size of eight. So for that particular test, we would be plugging, uh, plugging into eight different USB hubs. So with that in mind, uh, Andy, why exactly are there four levels? Similar to the general level inspection levels, which there are three, in the special inspection level, there's four. And the same rationale applies based on the complexity of the item, possibly the test, the price point, different factors would dictate which inspection, special inspection level to use. So in most cases, as you mentioned, we use a, gen, a special inspection level two, which in this example was eight, and using a four, which is more stringent, then that sample size would be 32. So assume it's a very high end hub or the risk, it's a potential new type of uh, technology. It's not all about monetary uh, factors when it comes to risk, it could be a new item. It could be price points, it could be a new technology, different factors. But in, in the most cases, we use S2 as the starting point for special and level inspection testing. Okay, so I've got another question, Andy. Uh, are there any exceptions where we don't use one of the general or special inspection levels? There are, uh, in some of those examples, when we would not use a special level or general level inspection uh, sample size to determine the sample size, might be ready to assemble furniture, where uh, think of a desk or a bookcase or the, all the different varieties of furniture that could be assembled or a playground swing set. It's not realistic to assemble eight uh, of those using a, you know, an order quantity of say 1500 pieces, we may only accept one. And the rationale being, if there is a production um, uh, issue and the screws were misaligned on a playground set, so two arms couldn't be assembled, it would permeate throughout the whole order, uh, or we could pull another one and double check. But there are instances and it depends on the item. We've talked about the general levels and the special levels today on the AQL chart. If you'd like to learn more about AQL sampling and get an overview of the whole thing, then you can download our guide to AQL, which is called AQL Inspections 101. And also, I should mention that if you need help conducting your inspections, feel free to get in touch with us. We have inspectors in various countries around the world. Just reach out to us if you'd like a quote or need more information about our pre-shipment inspection services. So, Andy, thank you for helping me explain the, ins the uh, general and special inspection levels. And uh, to everyone else, have a great day. Thank you, Billy.